Hey dudes, Chef Duff here. I'm about to check out some of the craziest desserts on the planet. So what do you say you and me head out on the ultimate sugar high? Hey, what's up dudes? All right, here's the deal, man. You guys, I've been eating way too much sugar. I'm freaking out, I'm going into anaphylactic shock. And I'm in Chicago, right? Here's the deal, Chicago is a town that was built on meat. I'm gonna go check out a place that's got cupcakes, Chicago style. I tell you how good this is. Our home now is in California. We take this back to California. We carry it in the cabin. Dinner and a cupcake. I'm drooling, I apologize. The Meatloaf Bakery is the brainchild of Cynthia Carlisle, who bailed on a corporate gig for the chance to make meatloaf into art. Is this a portal to heaven? <laughs> this is the Meatloaf Bakery. All things meatloaf, but in pastry form. I'm not believing what I'm saying right now. I've been dreaming about this moment my entire life. Cynthia makes all kinds of cupcakes with crazy toppings for frosting. Her bestseller is the Mother Loaf Cupcake. Where did you come from? <laughs> I came from the little town of Toledo, Ohio. My mother was an amazing cook. In fact, the mother loaf is yeah. her recipe. She's 88 years old. I'm a freak about meatloaf. Uh-huh. And I've actually never made a meatloaf myself, personally. I love to eat it. I love to see it. I love mm -hmm. to smell it. I've never actually made one. Well, we're going to show you how to do it. Awesome. Come on back. Cynthia's going to show me how to make the mother loaf cupcake using her mom's savory recipe. First up, the cake part of the cupcake. Do you know about me and cupcakes? I have heard. We don't like each other yeah. at all. Ooh. I think you have found the peace between me and cupcakes. Yes. You are the right. peacemaker. All right, first thing, we're going to take our beef, put it right in the bowl, and then we're going to take a little pork. We're going to put an egg in. There is a couple different schools of thought, right? Oh. Some people definitely don't put their eggs in the meatloaf. Got to have eggs. You don't have to bake it as long, and it'll hold together, and it'll still be nice and moist. This is how my mother did it. I mean, I have to say, she made a fabulous meatloaf. This is a blend of ketchup and mustard. What's this? This is oats. Oats? Oats. Instant oats. No. Breakfast. Oats. Off the shelf. Oats. Just Regular oats. Oats, like? Like oats. <laughs> then <laughs> we add crackers. And these would not be oats. And then we're going to add some chopped onion, chopped celery. Is that pimento? Red, red pepper. pepper. That's one little twist I did from my mother's. I like red pepper, so I put it in. That's curly parsley, fresh thyme. How do you say this word? Say it. I can't. Come on, how do you say it? That is not oats. Worcestershire <laughs> or something like that. Either Worcestershire. 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 I'm gonna I can't say it. it either. Next, we add paprika, marjoram, seasoned salt, and pepper. And then finally, just a little bit of milk. It's so pretty. It is. Look how nice it is. OK, now you're mixing meatloaf. You don't want to overmix it, but just okay. a little bit to get everything in together. After a nice, gentle mix, the meat is ready to go into greased baking cups. I take a nice old blob of meatloaf. Uh -huh. I'm not a painter, but this is like my artistry, which you is. You get a little like potter's wheel. You know? <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? You'd be like ghost. Uh, yeah. We've made four cupcakes because you need a nice, smooth top. Then she puts them in the oven to bake for 30 minutes at 375. Perfect. Great color, nice rounded dome, a little bit crispy. The best part. Now what do we do? Now we're going to top them. For the mother loaf cupcake, Cynthia uses Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. I love Yukon Gold yeah. with this, because they're buttery and they're rich. And then shapes it into the cupcake frosting. There we go. In order to get the true meatloaf cupcake experience, Cynthia serves it to me nice and hot. This is our uh, little demi glass. Douse it. A little bit of red wine in this. It's like gravy snobby cousin. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be hot, Duff, so be careful. I will. OK, I'm ready. This is a pivotal moment in my career as a chef and as a human being. Oh, I hope you like it. And now, the moment of truth. Can the mother loaf end my hatred of the dreaded cupcake? Thank you for existing. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Finally, a cupcake that I can respect. This is perfectly cooked. Not overcooked, not <laughs> undercooked. It's moist all the way through. The bell pepper is one of my least favorite sort of vegetable things to put in dishes. When it's used correctly, mm -hmm. it's perfect. I don't taste 
bell pepper, I taste balance. You're like a meatloaf Jedi. <laughs> well, it's sweeter than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It's probably the demi glace and the peppers, I think, that are the two be. things that are. But you know, there's one ingredient there that you didn't call out. Oats. 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 That's it. That's probably why it's so moist. Mm -hmm. That egg and those oats. Yes. What do you guys got there? Some deliciousness. Do you think like a lot of people are almost like intimidated by the meatloaf bakery? Oh, yeah. There's sort of, like I mean, there's two reactions. They're like, oh, it's not cupcakes. Oh, it's meat. Oh, it's meat. And then. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it, the Meatloaf Bakery. It literally changed my life. You've done something to me. Very cool. You've changed the, my wiring. It is a labor of love. Wow. It may be cliche. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.